Hi guys. So uh, I'm just I just came up from today a Volvo event and um, this is we got we got at uh, Menara Symphony in PJ along Jalan Kuke Kim and uh, this is where they just showed us their new uh, regional training center. Uh, more of more details of it you can read about in uh, our little newspaper Horizon News. So. Um, Volvo. Uh, they have they, besides showing us their 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 new um, training center. They've also, of course, made some announcements of their upcoming future plans. And it's not something new. We have we have we have read about this before on a global scale. They will be going um, towards more electrified cars. There will be more more and more plug-in hybrid cars they will be going into uh, battery electric vehicles in fact um, we were just told it was just announced that they will they will eventually there are plans uh, to launch the plug-in hybrid version of the XC40 and uh, maybe perhaps even followed by the battery electric uh, vehicle version of the same model all right so um right now even as things currently stand plug-in hybrid variants form the bulk of Volvo car sales and you don't at all find it surprising why because simply put because of the way uh because of the uh, tax incentives that Volvo has been getting there simply is even though they offer the, the the regular petrol variants side by side, there simply is no arguing against their T8 models. When you look at the XC90, the XC60, the S90, you look at the T8 versus the T5s. You know, uh, even if you dis even if you take the powertrain out of the equation, you look at just features versus price alone. It is very difficult to argue against the level of specification that. Uh, Volvo is able to pack into the T8 models, all right, and and yeah, and and the pricing advantage that that they enjoy. So they are selling more plug-in hybrid cars than they are regular petrol cars. Okay, now the thing about it is this. Okay, so everybody is saying um, all these. Uh, electric electrification of vehicles it's you know it's good for the environment better carbon footprint and all that in fact uh Volvo has stated their their aim to be carbon neutral by 2040 which is a full five years ahead of the Swedish government the Swedish government uh pledged that you know by na nationwide the the, the entire country of Sweden will be carbon neutral by 2045 World War plans to do it by 2040. Very noble cause. But uh, there is something that, you know, everybody is saying, oh, yay, you know, zero emissions and all that. But there's something that people don't talk about enough. And it is, it concerns the disposal of the batteries. Okay, now, I'm not talking about the, the lifespan of the battery or that. So, all these uh, you know, hybrid batteries, the all the uh, the traction batteries, what they call it, the batteries that power the motor. These batteries are actually designed now. Now that you know the battery technology is getting increasingly uh, more advanced and more reliable, they are designed to last the lifespan of the car. And in Volvo's case, they recently just announced that um, they are giving a what eight year warranty to their batteries. So. If you have any doubts on the reliability of these batteries, um, you can be quite assured because Volvo has 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 the confidence to put an eight-year warranty in their battery. Of course, we always joke that you know with with battery electric vehicles with plug-in hybrids, uh, it's the because of because it's a chemical reaction in to to store the the electricity in the battery. There is the inevitable deterioration in the energy capacity of the battery. I always joke that it is like a fuel tank that shrinks with the age of the car. Okay, so 
but still um the other thing is this the other concern with batteries is that the components the uh, ingredients that make up your battery there is you know it's all the rare earths and you know all the high precious metals this you know the lithium and all that right these these chemicals okay you can't just dump them anywhere and once once you once the once the battery is out of service okay let me give you an example so let's just say that uh, you are driving a Volvo plug-in hybrid and say your car gets involved in an accident total loss so what is going to happen to the car okay it's probably be sitting on an insurance scrapyard and more importantly what's going to happen to the battery the chemicals inside so th this is an environmental concern because if you leave the battery lying there the chemicals in there will eventually leak out and pollute the ground below so it's a serious matter you cannot just leave old batteries just lying on the ground and 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 you know and and not deal with it it is a serious environmental concern so um, at the press conference just at the Q&A session I, I asked them just now so you know as you sell more and more batteries um, more more and more plug-in hybrid vehicles more and more battery electric vehicles what are you doing to 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 deal with the disposal of of all these hybrid batteries and the response that was given to me was is that right now Volvo has in place uh, a, sec a set of procedures whereby if any of these batteries have to be disposed they will Volvo Car Malaysia will collect the battery and send it back to Sweden where they have battery recycling centers okay so um, I think right now as things currently stand so Volvo apparently last year uh, last year 2019 they sold 36 percent more cars than they did the year before but overall their volume is still relatively low when you compare it with the mercedes-benz and the bmws of the market so they still they are still they're selling an increasing number of cars but it's not an overwhelming number of cars so it is still a realistic so it is still a realistic solution for them to just okay take this battery but ship it back to sweden and be done but as the as the number of phevs grow and it's not just volvo don't forget bmw is is going very strong on phevs and honda is also selling a ton of city and jazz hybrids in the market so you know and plus all the during the previous uh, regime you know where all the uh hybrid incentives and all that so right now we do have a sizable population of hybrid cars in the market running with 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 their traction batteries um you know at various stages of wear and tear and maybe some of them have, needs to be changed but inevitably some of these cars are bound to get into you know accidents or need to be scrapped and what is going to happen to all these electric vehicle batteries so the question so what i want to say is the question that you know as we chase you know as as a lot of us the uh, we want to say oh we want to save the environment we want zero emissions motoring we want sustainability but and it's good that we are asking these questions it is good that we want to reduce our our emissions from the internal combustion engine but as we embark on our path towards electrification the question that don't get asked as nearly as often as it should be is are the environmental impact of the batteries you know right from the manufacturing phase of the battery you know the mining phase where they mine all these precious earths these precious metals are, are out of the earth the pollution is generated at the mining phase of these precious metals then uh, the processing of this metal of this of these elements and ultimately the disposal so the the thing is that if as a country if we are going to embark if we are going to really embrace um, 
electrified vehicles the 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 infrastructure the surrounding our infra our supporting infrastructure will need to be very comprehensive because not only will we have to look into building enough charging station to charge all these electric vehicles we will also uh, have to build up the infrastructure to process the recycling of and disposal of unused batteries so that is something for us to think about and I think you know with this video I hope uh, I hope someone of importance you know sees this and uh, yeah and and put in the and and kickstart the efforts to I think it's really something we should look into right something we should look into as we if you want to promote uh, zero emissions motoring we want to promote battery plug-in hybrid vehicles and all that we really have to look into this we have to look into localized uh, disposal and recycling facilities of all these old batteries